So guys, you'll never guess what. I've moved! Series 7. We changed the scenery today because I have the house to myself. It's proof that my mum makes cakes for a living. It's full of boxes and stuff. But yeah, um, Caitlin didn't do her video yesterday because she was at Glastonbury. This door is annoying me. The door just keeps coming back. Um, so I'm sure Glastonbury is good. We can, I'm sure we'll hear about it. Anyway, um, we don't have a, a challenge. I want to do a challenge this week, but um, we didn't think of anything. So, plea for try for help, plea for help, whatever, guys. Comment and give us challenges. And come on, you must want to see us do some embarrassing, stupid things that will embarrass us and make us look stupid on the internet. Come on. So instead, I decided this week I am going to tell you a short story, not a fictional one. One that happened to me yesterday. It's not particularly amusing, but I'm going to tell you anyway. As you may have noticed, you probably didn't. I have a banded a plaster thing on my arm, and I can't twist my arm to show you. I have a plaster thing here. Um, because I gave blood yesterday, or and I say gave blood, I really should have put the hypothetical kind of... I tried to give blood. You see, last time I gave blood, everything went completely fine, except they almost didn't get the full amount of blood, because... I was rubbish. So I thought it must be my right arm and the fact I was nervous because it was my first time so I used my left arm. And it turns out I have small veins so they had to stab me about six times to find my vein. They then realised the blood wasn't going very fast again, it was even slower than last time because I was using my left arm which isn't my arm that I write with and stuff. And then they started taking the blood obviously as they do and they put this thing around your arm uh, to like compress the blood flow, because otherwise like, all this blood's just going to come out your arm too fast. Uh, so they compressed the blood flow and my arm went numb, so it was obviously too tight. Uh, and then the blood stopped flowing. And the nurse was like, oh, there's no more blood. Hmm. And the other nurse didn't want to move the needle in my arm anymore, so they gave up. So I didn't actually give the full blood that I should have, and I was a bit disappointed. So uh, that wasn't good. The highlight of the day was I got a wee thanks for coming back card with some information about people with O blood type. Did you know Japanese people say that people with an O blood type are optimistic, friendly, open, strong, self-reliant and have good leadership abilities. The famous group O's include the Queen, Prince Charles, Ronald Reagan and Al Capone. And I bet you really wanted to know that. The, the real like highlight was getting this wee badge and I don't know how far this is zoomed in so this could fail but uh, this wee O plus badge thing it's nice of them um, I've been working a lot recently because people go on holiday but I will soon have lots of money and I will book my train to summer in the city yay and now I need to go and stop my dinner burning so um, DFTBA